Hey YouTube, AK Soggy Buns here, and today I was gonna talk to you about Motion Eye OS. Now, pretty much what it is for me is it's a ring replacement, you know, one of those video door replacements. I created a way to detect motion and send notifications to my phone with Motion Eye OS. Now, uh, Basically, Motion iOS is this awesome guy on GitHub. See, uh, Christian has made the software that you can put on a Raspberry Pi. You use the web camera or a Raspberry Pi camera and uh, set up a basically your own Ring device around your home. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. As you can see, there was the single way to single camera, single Raspberry Pi and do it that way. That's how I'm doing it now. You could hook up, hook up a couple cameras to the Raspberry Pi to a single Raspberry Pi and do it that way. You could have multiple devices like this where you have one Raspberry Pi and that's acting as the main server than uh, single Raspberry Pis that are fast camera, fast network Raspberry Pis that go to that Pi. Um, you can manage all your Pis from one single place or one of your cameras from one spot, only one IP address. Uh, doesn't need any more power than the others. Disadvantage: all the cameras m must be motion eye for this this way. Uh, there's also this way where you have a media server and you have multiple cameras that talk to the router, go to the server, and then you can connect to them with your computer. This is the setup I want to achieve later on, eventually. Uh, yeah, all media is in one spot, so if someone does take it, they could destroy it or whatever. So, um, here are some of the supported devices for Motion iOS. Uh, you know, Banana Pie, Nano Pie, Orange Pie, o an Odroid, Odroid C2, the Pine Board, and then all the versions of the Raspberry Pi. And I'm using the Raspberry Pi Model A or Model B currently with mine, one of the first Raspberry Pis, and it's been working so good. Um, some settings you can do on the Pi, like if you want it to be a little bit more discreet, turn off the LEDs. Uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm synchronizing, uh, uploading the videos to Google Drive, which is just amazing. Uh, here's the roadmap. Uh, be able to trigger it with like a PR sensor, Mac presence on the LAN, that would be cool. Uh, cellular support, dynamic DNSs. Uh, here's just some screenshots of, of what it would look like, of what it looks like, the login, some settings. Uh, here's if you had multiple cameras on desktop and mobile. And then here's the settings and we'll go into the settings a little bit later. And then if you want to actually look at your media that you have saved on your device, your Pi, you can see that. Uh, here's the requirements. You need a USB camera, you know, power supply, SD cards, and then Wi-Fi. If uh, and actually that's what I'm doing. I'm using my using Wi-Fi for mine, and it's been working great. Uh, here's the fast camera, like we're talking about. All right, so. Here, here's my Raspberry Pi. We're gonna log into it. As you can see, it's dark outside right now. Uh, that's this would be a future duration that I'd want to do is get an IR camera so I can see at night. And when I detect motion, turn on my porch lights. But for now, it's just I had what I had, so super cheap to get this up and running. So here's some of the general settings. You can change the default passwords. Set your time zones. Uh, there's your versions. You can check your versions. You can update it all in here. Just gonna type in a, a host name setting and then we'll apply that later. Network settings, you can enter in your wireless network here. Services, you know, FTP, Samba, SSH, uh, some expert settings. Uh, you can actually, you know, 
change some of the video device settings. And it really goes into this, really goes into detail here. Uh, storage settings. And then if you look here, if you turn upload media files on, upload pictures, movies, and enable the upload service, uh, you can upload it to an FT FTP server, Google Drive, Google Photo, Dropbox. I'm uploading mine to Google Drive in this folder, security cameras front porch folder. And then it also adds the date. Uh, it includes the other subfolders, which are the dates. You can call a webhook from here after you've saved the file or whatnot. Here's the text overlays. You can do video streaming. I mean, all of these settings, so many settings. Uh, and then what I'm also what I'm doing is I'm calling a webhook. I'm calling if this, then that. And that will send it sends a notification to my phone telling me that there's has been motion detected. Uh, here's some of the de detection settings. Uh, you can set the sensitivity. That's the threshold. Uh, in the file names of your movies. As you can see it has some parameters. So it saves the date. Uh, camera name is up in the top as you can see there, front porch. You can send emails. So we'll just apply that, boot that real quick. So let's show you my actual Raspberry Pi that I have. Yeah, I believe this is a model. Yeah, look at that bad boy, a model B+. Plus. Old guy with a Raspberry Pi camera connected straight to the board with the ribbon cable. Um, I got a, since it's such an old Raspberry Pi, I have that Wi-Fi adapter. Here's a notification that I get on my phone whenever it detects motion from if this and that. And then, hey, what's going on here? What is, I got a bucket thief, it looks like. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that's my dad. He was uh, putting ice melt down for me, thanks dad. So yeah, like I said, I don't have ethernet run to this one. So I got my SD card there, and then my Wi-Fi adapter. So yeah, this is, this is Motion Eye, and I appreciate you guys watching. Um, subscribe if you want more videos, and uh, take a look at some others.